This Sunday night, I was nothing but wild in the cave. You're not gonna believe half of it. My name is Andrea Sachinko, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We had to snowy Magnitogor's first war medal play playhouse to Sabir. Home team strikes late in the opening period. Dennis Parson chews the puck for a long time and then beats Harry Satter for his eighth of the year. It goes in with a couple of deflections and Sergei Mazakin gets an assist on the play. Moving on to late in the second now, Metal are gonna power play. Dennis Rasmussen passes it down low and Nikolai Goleman puts on a nice move to double the lead for his team. Sibir get on the board as well just out of three minutes later. Braden Colson turns the puck over and Alexei Yakovlev has no mercy. He scores on the breakaway to make it 2-1. Third period now and Magnit to get another power play tally. This time Igor Yakovlev, no relation to Alexei, tips it home on Victor Antipin's shot. They put it out of reach late in regulation as Evgeny Tinkin redirects it in for his first of the season. Sibir won 3-2 in overtime a week ago, but this time Metal Earth prevailed 4-1 on home ice. We're off to Ufa now, where Salah Live meet Dynamo Mins. The two met recently in Belarus and Salah won 3-2 in overtime. This one is a little more lopsided, or a lot, you'll be the judge of that. 12 minutes in, Nikita Sashnikov open scored with a nice wrister. 22 seconds later, they make it 2 0. Dmitry Kogoshev takes a center and pass, and Alexander Kadikin sieves it through Jonas Anrad. Three minutes later, Oddman rushes for Salabat and they convert on it. This time, Kadekin and Kogoshev draw the helpers, and former New York Jersey devil Vladimir Zharkov finds the back of the net. They improve their lead to 4 0 before the period expires. Sakari Mananin gives the puck to Zaharas Damasov and he finds a way to beat Enrod. Dynamo look for a change and Alegi Benka assaults Vladimir Zharkov at center ice. Zharkov turtles, keeps his gloves on, and Yvenko is going to get the only penalty here. It's 5 in a game for him to get in the fight. And the onslaught continues in the second. Lena Sumer taps it in on the long power play opportunity to make it 5 0. A few minutes later, another power play for Salavan, and they convert on it as well. Timo Hardikan and shoves his way to the slot and roofs it past 10 rods. The Swede is finally relieved by Nikita Telefilo after that. Dynamo get a goal back late in the period as Vladislav Hiromitko turns early into a power play from the high slot. Yuha Metzel is robbed of a shadow, but it doesn't fade Salavan's offense. Mitri Kogoshev restores the six goal margin on a bit of a confusing play. It comes just the same. 7 1 after 40. Third period now, Salavana back on a power play. Nikita Sashnikov scores his second of the night. With that, he has 14 on the season to top the league. Salavat put a chair on top, 30 seconds past the halfway mark of the period. Alexander Kadekin scores his second of the game and fifth of the year. Mitri Kogoshev enjoys his second career four-point game, while Sashnikov, Maninin, Kadekin and, of course, Lena Sommer get three points each. Salavat steamroll over Dynamo means 9-1 on home ice. Next up, Balashika Moscow region. It's where Avangard take on their rivals Dynamo Moscow. The Blue and White beat the Hawks 1-0 less than a week ago. There's a lot more scoring in this one, but we started with a huge save. Dynamo give up a 3 on O rush, but somehow Avangard failed to beat Ivan Bacharov. Yosa Hietinen opens it up four and a half minutes in. It's a power play goal, but here she patch off and Mitri Yashkin with the assist. But it takes Avangard less than a minute to get back even. Hiro Simonov celebrates his seventh of the season as he jams it in from the doorstep. Avangard converted on the initial power play opportunity of the night. Taylor back beats Ivan Bacharov on the short side to make it 2-1 early into the second. Let's keep ahead to the third, but 10 into it. Sven Andrigetta finishes off this crazy sequence with his sixth of the year. Bacharov did all he could on the play to keep it out, but it just wasn't enough. Six minutes later, Dynamo pulled back to within one. Yosaki Atenem fires it home from the left circle for his second of the night and eighth of the season. A minute later, Moscow find the equalizer. Avangar lose concentration in a power play and former St. Louis Blues forward Mitri Yashki scores a shorty. This one is all tied up at threes.
We're within the final five minutes of regulation. Form four hockey. Slava Boyna passed it to Taylor Beck, and he arrested home for a second of the game at seventh of the season. That's the game winner. Avangard beat Dynamo 4 3 this Sunday night. We travel now to St. Petersburg where SKA faced Dynamo Riga who are dead last in the league standings. But Riga always seems to have SKA's number no matter where they're located in the table. It starts well for St. Petersburg though. Four minutes into the game, Andrei Kuzmenko finds wide open Anton Vordasov in front of the net and Vordasov sizzles a top shelf past Alexander Salas. Kuzmenko finds the back of the net as well meter through the period but it's waved off after Peter review as the play was offside. Early into the second period, Alexander Borobanov with a curl and drag at full speed as he backhands it into the twine for an absolute beaut. That gives us a 2-0 lead. But that's when Dynamo wake up. Four minutes later, Captain Lauris Darzic finds loose change in front of the net and Riga are on the board. Less than three minutes later, Darzic plays it to the point for Nery Salishauskas who lets it rip and Brandon McMillan redirects it past Alexi Milnichuk to tie it up at two. Late in the period now, Darzic with a Saturn pass and Macmillan with a quick release. He's right on the money. Dynamo jump from front 3-2. SKA bring it back to square one in the last minute of the period. Andrzej Kuzmenko scores in a power play. This one counts and he finally has his first goal of the season. 3-3 up to 40. St. Petersburg swap the only trip for Magnus Helberg in goal late in regulation as the game goes to overtime. Dynamo managed to get it over the goal line midway through it. It does count initially, but it's waved off the pump video review. Goal interference is the verdict. So it goes all the way to the shootout and SKA prevail. Kirill Marchenko scores the winner. A thorough entertaining bout and SKA come out on top 4-3 in the shootout. We go to Sochi for our final game of the day. The Leopards get to play the Dragons. Stanley Cup champion Devonta smith Bellin makes his KHL debut in this one. Meter for the first period, Chicago Blackhawks prospect Andrei altibor makan splits the D and shoots from the circle, turned aside by Shimon Grubetz. Soon after that, Andrei Schuster sends Corey Kane on a partial break. He's stopped by Ivan Nalima, former Red Star goaltender. Sochi open scoring late in the period. John Collins gets the goal while Morgan Ellis and Simon Bertelson register the assist. They double their lead two minutes later as they score on a power play. Malte Strom Balskoski's kicks of the year and Collins gets an apple. And that's all they're gonna need. Ivan Nalibov makes 19 saves for his first shutout of the year and Sochi take it 2-0 at home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow. We're gonna have four more games for you, including Locomotive vs. Admiral and Red Army against Neftokimic. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.